episode one of Johnson's Journeys. Uh, I'm back after the summer break with Club Bruges after last season. Um, today we've got Oostend. Oostend? Yeah, Oostend. In the uh, first game of the Belgian league uh, before we play Ferenc Kvaros in the uh, Europa Cup third qualifying round. Um, before we get into them, uh, lots happened over the summer, so uh, let's get straight to the transfers. Um, quite a lot's gone on. Um, I wouldn't say a squad overhaul, but some changes have happened. Um, we'll start with the outs. Um, we'll sort it by fee. Um, not like massive departures in terms of uh, fees, but um, all players you'll probably recognise. Um, so... First off, uh, Carlos Castro has left uh, for Stad Rene for just under two million. He was um, our sort of well third, fourth choice striker by the end. Um, as you can see, didn't play. I don't think he played a game under me. Um, didn't really impress me. I think he played a couple, but didn't impress me. That's what it was. So didn't play again. And obviously Dost had been in good form, so. Um, we've moved him on. He was earning quite a bit. Um, we've got some decent money for him. Um, David Juncker was a player I think you only saw once, and that was towards the end of the season. Um, was bought in last summer, only played five games, and we've moved him on for a similar fee to what we brought him in for. He was a left back, and we've got a couple of decent left backs already, so didn't really need him, uh, so we moved him on. Uh, Jose Izquierdo uh, played a few times but couldn't really find a slot for him um, has been at Bruges or had been at Bruges for quite a while um, started his career quite brightly but sort of faded in the last few years so we've moved him on to Krasnodar in Russia um, we've got Baz Dost has left for Red Bull Salzburg um, got a million for him which is pretty good we got him on a free so um, quite happy with that um, obviously <clears throat> hit a goal every other game and had a good little run under us um, for a while but tailed off towards the end of the season uh, he is now 32 so he's only going to get worse um, and I've got Hugo Chukwu so I'm just going to stick faith with him um, so yeah, wish Doss the best of luck at Salzburg. Uh, Jelle Vossen is another starter that has now left. Um, he's moved to Pacos, I think it is, Ferreira in Portugal for 750k. Um, again, has been with Bruges for a while. Scored quite a lot of goals. Uh, got seven for his last year, which was pretty good. Um, started well when we came in, but again, sort of tailed off towards the end. And again, is getting on, so um, we've replaced him, I think, quite well. So um, again, best of luck to him. Uh, and these are the three that have moved for money. Malquit was a right back, I think, that was out on loan last year. Um, just not going to get anywhere near the team. Um, Amilcare Fuimara, again, was out on loan last year. Decent centre back, but got better options, so we've moved him on. Um, and Warner Hahn uh, was our fourth, third choice keeper. Again, we're well stocked in that department. Um, looks quite good to be fair, but um, we've got better players. So, moved him on, got money for him, so happy days. Um, and players that have left on a free, Azizov was a reserve player, Sid Klee was as well. Uh, Gidoz has left, who was around the first team. Um, Again, was quite good. Didn't play a lot for us, um, but I just didn't think it was worth renewing his contract. So he's moved on. Thomas Pina is an experienced midfielder. Obviously played quite a bit, but never really impressed me. So again, he's been let go. Uh, and the same sort of story with Rude Vorma. Um, has now got a new club, actually. but um, Another experienced player, but... <clears throat> Um, wasn't getting well he was getting worse as he got older so um, we've let him go as well 
clear some players off the wage bill, cut the squad a little bit, um, was quite large. So, um, and the rest, I think the only other one of note really is Crivelli, another decent striker, um, but not quite good enough. Um, he's gone out on loan to Nant Nantes. Nantes. He's trying to get rid of him permanently because his wages are a bit of a drain, but. Um, He's out on loan for the year, so and I think his contract's out next summer. Oh no, it isn't. Uh, well, anyway, um, so into or onto the ins rather. Um, we've fetched in seven and a half million, and we've spent twelve and a half. We've still got thirty million in the bank, um, and I don't really know what to do with it. Um, I think we might need a striker. I don't know. We'll see how Hugo Chukwu does in the next... Well, we've got about a month um, until the transfer window closes. So I might go out and spend big on a striker. Maybe a midfielder. Um, the players we've brought in are all sort of under 22-ish. So we might need a more experienced midfielder, but we'll see how we get on. Um, so, first player we brought in was Peter Hadju on a free transfer... Um, he is a 20 year old Hungarian defensive midfielder um, and to get him on a free I think we've done really well actually um, his physicals are brilliant he's got some really nice stats already um, tackling is good passing is decent for a midfielder work rate, determination bravery, all really good um, I think yeah if we because we don't play with a defensive midfielder as such um, but uh, he's still decent in a defensive central midfield position um, won't be a starter but um, is a really good player to have as sort of well, he'll, be, he'll be first choice substitute if that makes sense um, so yeah good to have good to have had you in he's already got four Hungarian caps as well so that's a good sign um, so yeah welcome to the team um Carlos Sanchez is a player that I mentioned last episode or the episode before. Um, we arranged this signing quite early. Um, <clears throat> he's a 20-year-old Spaniard. Got him for just under four million from Getafe, where he had a good uh, good season in the second tier of Spain last year. Ten goals, five assists, um, decent return. Um, he's predominantly an attacking midfielder, which is exactly where we needed to strengthen after letting Vossen go. Um, and I think he can come in and do a job there. Really good physicals, quite a quick player. Um, his first touch, passing, technique, vision, decisions, um, they're all good. <clears throat> and he's got the potential to be a nearly five-star player. Um, he goes straight into the team and, and starts. So um, hopefully he can come big for us this year. Um, another midfielder. Laszlo Gaspar, uh, player I've had my eye on pretty much since I joined Bruges. One of my scouts suggested him back in January, I think, um, but he'd not long joined his last club, Ozizek, Um so I left it till the summer. Um, signed him for £3 million, <clears throat> had a good year uh, in the Croatian Premier League, six goals, ten assists, not a particularly attacking player. <clears throat> Um, but that's a good return nonetheless um, he again physically really good mentally really good technically really good he's only 19 playing for the Hungarian first team um, he's got the potential to be five stars already three and a half again he goes straight into the team um, well he does for now because Vanaken is currently injured so he's quite a similar player to Vanaken um, so yeah, Laszlo Gaspar, welcome to the team. Um, and then two more of note. <clears throat> this Tobe Jansen is a, a young player, so I won't talk about him. Uh, you may notice the last two are both called Octavian. That's just, uh, I don't know, didn't plan that, but there we go. Um, first one, Octavian Murasan is a 19-year-old Romanian right-back. Uh, got him in for three million pounds from Cluj in Romania. Um, becomes, I guess, second choice really. 
behind Kleiber. Um, got loads of room to develop, but already looks pretty decent. Um, again, physically really good. No, uh, no questions there. Stats are good already where they should be, but as I say, will only improve. Full Romanian international. Um, again, that's really good. Um, so yeah, it's good to have him in, on board as well. And lastly, Octavian Tristar, another Romanian. Um, got him for 1.7 million from Gazmatan. Had a good season last year. A goal every other game. Um, oh, where's he gone? There he is. Uh, only 18 though, so... Um, but look at his physicals already. Quick, good stamina, good strength, agile. His teamwork, work rate, finishing... All really, really good, and he's only rated two and a half star, so he's going to become a great player, I think. I'm going to probably retrain him as an advance forward or a poacher, um, because obviously I don't play with a defensive forward or a target man, and I feel like that 15 finishing isn't going to be fully used if he plays, you know, as a defensive forward or a target man. Um, we need to get him up there and get him in the goals um, so Octavian Tristar I think he's on the bench today so you may see him briefly but um, so yeah that's that's that so the team today <clears throat> isn't going to be too different to what you're used to I think um, I don't know Van Aken isn't injured he was for pre-season I think that's what it was um, so it's Kojakaru in goal. Um, didn't really strength. Didn't need to strengthen the uh, keepers. We've got loads of good keepers already. So uh, Kleiber at the back with Briancon, Densville, and Sessignon. I think Mubanje is injured, so he plays. Sasa and Vanaken mainstays in that midfield. Alexiev on the left. Vojvodic plays on the right, uh, and Sanchez plays attacking midfield. Oh, Tristar does get at a start today. Um, because. Oh, Ugo Chukwu is injured. Cherny is also injured, which is why Vojvodic plays. Um, <clears throat> on the bench, uh, Yari Debusa, Octavian Murasan, Barmos Gaspar, Haju, Indy Boonen is a player you won't have seen. He was out on loan last year. Um, can play anywhere down the left. Looks quite good, but I think. Is he being bid for? Oh, he's probably going out on loan again. So um, he's at United at the start of the game. We got him on a free. He was out on loan last year. Um, wingers, I guess, were slightly um, short on. Could do with maybe one more. Um, and Huizmans makes the bench today because obviously Hugo Chukwu is out. So um, <clears throat> a slightly weaker team than normal, but. Still think we can do a job over Ustend today. Um, and yeah, pre-season's been decent. Um, bit, well, doesn't look as good there if you saw a brief glance of it, but um, we've had a lot of injuries and um, quite a few of these players have recently joined the new players. Uh, so they haven't had much time to to bed in, um, but yeah, I think we've I think we've strengthened, um, and we've set ourselves up for the future as well. Like you saw, I think the oldest one of the players were signed was twenty twenty one. No, maybe not even that. Twenty, perhaps. Um, so you know, and they're already rated quite quite highly already. Um, Sanchez, Gaspar especially, could fit into the first team straight away, so, um, yeah, you know, it's that's the sort of team I'm going for now, I'm trying to build build a younger side, um, still quality, but younger side, um, I think the oldest player that started today, maybe 30, Kojakaru, Kleiber, Sasa, Vanaken, they're all that sort of way. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to trying to shift 
anyone over 30 out I'm trying to make all my new signings under 25 that's the aim um, try star on the attack good effort um, <clears throat> I think Ustenda one of the weaker sort of teams in the league um, so we should be dispatching them quite easily um, obviously we are slightly under strength today but I still think we can get the job done be good to see Tristar score on his debut um, he's come close already as has Sanchez on his debut um, one of the new midfielders is, is going to get his debut today oh, they're 1-0 DeMarta just danced through there wasn't particularly paying much attention just too quick for Briancon and Kleiber keeper could you do better there mm, maybe that was poor uh, getting to half time and it looks like we're going to go in behind unless we can get the ball back and make something of this um, Bon Giovanni, Van der Breich, they've got some great names in this team. Van den Dreisch. No, get it off. No, Bon Giovanni. Oh, Kojkaru, you can be doing better with that one, definitely. On his debut as well. Denzel's been drawn out, there's a massive gap. Kojkaru, you should be getting to that. Oh dear. Um, well, that's not gone to plan. Let's get aggressive. Um, yeah. Well, that wasn't part of the script. Um, yeah, and the thing is, we, we haven't really got anyone that can change the game. Um, Especially like wingers, striker. Nope. See, this is what I mean. We're slightly short in that respect. Um, but we have got a couple of injuries as well. I have to remember that. Demarta's through again. Kajikaru does finally make a save. Um, but they are. They're bossing us here. <clears throat> Sanchez clears. Get out to him. Briancon closes it down. Um, I don't know what to do. Sanchez clears. Can we get it and break? Doesn't look like it. Close him down. That's fine. Um, Gonna get gonna see what do I do? What do I do? I'm gonna get Gaspar on for Sanchez and put Vanaken behind <clears throat> the striker. Um And yeah, I, sp I guess that'll do for now. Sanchez looked knackered, hasn't particularly done anything. Um, let's get Boone on for Alexiev, Hoisman is on for Tristar. We'll go attacking as well, see if that makes a difference. Just guessing now, really. I think Kajikaru is the reason we've lost this. He's had a really poor game. Uh, yeah, he took 400 fans. Is that it? Opening day. Well, that's uh, interesting. Come on then, can we can we at least get a goal back? That'll do. Dens will win that. Kajikaru, chill. Hoisman's 
Benaken. And we lose out. Can we get it back? Come on, Benaken. You're meant to be the captain. Come on. Sessignon. No. Oh. That's 3 0. Oh, Jesus. Sessignon didn't get close to him there. Everyone's been dragged away. De Preville has got tons of space. Tons of space? That doesn't make any sense. He's got a lot of space. Um, oh, now Vernaken's injured. And I've used all my subs. Um, and that's probably going to be full time. I think. Gaspar wins it. Bodvodic. Full time. 3 0 defeat. Aggressive. Not happy. Aggressive. Very unhappy. Uh, that puts us bottom of the league. <clears throat> nice. Cool. Um, I don't think I will play the uh, European game today, actually. Oh, he's out for two to three months. Oh, Jesus. I mean, luckily Gaspar can go straight in, but that's not ideal. Um, fill the bench with defenders. Um, yeah, I'll play Ferenc Kvaros next episode. I think I'll just do it that as a double. Miss out the STVV game. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay then. Well, uh, as always, thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, drop a like on it. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. Share it around. Tell your friends. Um, and we'll, we'll see you next episode.